Over the past 12 years, Judge Executive Al Mattingly has overseen dramatic changes in Davis County, including in the city of Owensboro itself. But how the county got there and where the county goes from here is still very much up for debate. In just a couple of weeks, a pair of familiar faces, Republican Charlie Caslin and Democrat Bruce Coonsey, will square off to replace Judge Mattingly. This week, we hear what they think about the biggest issues facing the international barbecue capital and its surrounding areas, and the latest from your local election headquarters. From, from voters, they just want me to win. Davis County Commissioner and Republican Judge Executive nominee Charlie Caslin is ready to keep on running. I think the citizens recognize what I bring to the table, the skill sets that I have that, that are beneficial to, to county government, beneficial to the citizens of this community. Months after sweeping past a pair of challengers in the Republican primary, including former Davis County Judge Executive Reed Hare, Gaston will meet another familiar face on the ballot this November. Democrat and former County Commissioner Bruce Coonsey, who ran against outgoing Judge Executive Al Mattingly and lost in 2010. People that know me, I think, know my record of public service and that I am willing to listen to people and try to do the right thing for the majority of people. And I'm hoping that that message will resonate with, with voters who may typically vote straight party, but who will, who will look at the individual and what they have to offer, and that they'll vote the person and not just the party. So what do Coonsie and Caslin see as the biggest issue this November? The biggest thing facing Davis County I think the biggest issues are whatever people bring to you. Because what's a big issue to you may not be a big issue to him. Well, there are a couple. I think, number one, public safety. You know, we've all seen how violence is, has increased in certain areas. So I want to work closely with our sheriff's department. I want to make sure that there's good cooperation between the sheriff's department and the police department. I want to make sure that the sheriff's department is adequately funded for both personnel and for the equipment that they need. This year's election comes after over a decade of investment and revitalization in downtown Owensboro, including the construction of Smothers Park and the introduction of new businesses to the area, something that Charlie Castlet is proud of. I think we've seen considerable growth, especially in the downtown area. I mean, if you come down here, I think most people would say it's alive and vibrant now. But Cousy says there's a key difference between his involvement in the revitalization project and Charlie Castlin's. Well, there are a couple of differences. Uh, I think that I am more open to new ideas. I'm willing to take a risk if we need to. I supported the downtown development in Owensboro, and my, my opponent did not. Indeed, records from 2009 show that then-City Commissioner Charlie Caslin voted against a tax increase that provided $20 million worth of funding for the revitalization project, a then-controversial measure that Coonsie voted for. I think that if we, if we do the same things we've always done in the same way, we're going to get the same results. So I just, I think that we always have to be looking for ways to do things better. And I'm open to new ideas and new suggestions. And I think that's really what sets me apart and why I think I can do the job. Still, after over 20 years in local government on the city and county levels, Gasson says the voters know he can get the job done. The reality is, if you ask most people in our community, they, they would, they would, I believe they would say that, yes, Charlie has a, ser a servant heart. And that's, and that's why I'm running for office.